Our Military Hero of the Month is Senior Airman Brian Kniff. Born and raised in Victoria, Brian chose the Air Force as his next challenge after high school. March of 1990, I went into uh, basic training. And after basic training, I was, uh, uh, my job was going to be a uh, crash fire rescue. So I flew to Rantoul, Illinois, Chanute Air Force Base, to go through uh, the firefighting school for the military, for the Air Force. You have to be careful of what arms are on the plane whenever it does crash, or if they do crash. Uh, they teach you that. The angles, uh, you're using mostly a water and foam solution to, because usually you're fighting just the, uh, the, the fuel that is, that is burning, so. So did you ever find yourself sitting there on the edge of the tarmac waiting for somebody to land and not knowing if they're gonna make it? Every day, pretty much every day. Really? Yes, sir. After his tour of duty in Saudi Arabia, Brian says he came home and found his life's calling, the police force. I had done a couple of ride-alongs with a real good friend of mine, and after the first one, I was hooked, and I was like, I've got, I've got to do this. I should have done this 20 years ago, you know, and grad after graduating, the, the day that we were graduating, I was offered the job at the Victoria Police Department, so uh, I've been there ever since and loved every minute. One good way to get a smile on Brian's face is to talk about deer hunting. He found other ways to help veterans. Uh, it's called uh, Bucks for the Brave, where people sign these veterans and first responders, uh, sign them up for this deer hunt that, that the Trinity Oaks puts on. But the hunter I had, he was a, uh, a retired uh, Army helicopter pilot. Mm. And then after he got out of the Army, he became a, uh, a firefighter. Like, Why aren't you sitting where I'm at, you know? And I said, well, sir, I said, I just love to give back, you know? I said, I, that's what I love to do. And, you know, if I can pass my knowledge on to you and, you know. With 15 years on the police force, Brian Kniff is a well-known figure around town, and his message is always safety. You, you'll watch cars and, you know, they'll start swerving from one lane to the next, or, you know, you get people that just fall asleep at a red light, you know, they just, or a lot of them are drive throughs Whataburger late at night. I've seen uh, that. They, they just pass out in the drive through yeah. and, you know, Whataburger calls and says, hey, this guy's not, you know, waking up, and, you know, you, you get a lot of them like that, you know. <laughs> For his service in the Air Force and on the Victoria Police Force, Brian Kniff is our Military Hero of the Month. If you know a veteran and want to share their story, go to crossroadstoday.com slash militaryhero. I'm McClovio Perez, 25 News Now. The guys we had this past week, uh, I just got back yesterday from the hunt, and uh, all of them, you could tell, they, they were all affected, you know. Some of them, you know, some of them were pretty bad. You had to, you know, we let them, and, and they get to open up to us talking. We sit in a deer blind for hours on end talking, you know, and 
a lot of them guys really, you know. A hunting trip would would make a difference? Yes, because yeah, they're, they're, they are with everyone that, everyone there has been there and done that, basically. Mm -hmm. So they're able to let themselves go a little bit. They don't have to be on edge or, you know, feel like they're, you know, be restricted in how they talk and stuff because we've all, every guy that was there this past week was former, you know, former military or currently, uh, like myself, first responders mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, um, and they feel a little safer talking to us versus just anybody, you know, so.